join the crew. Milton and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can't we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Time to get busy, such a lot to do. Building and fixing till it's good as new. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Can we build it? Yeah! Can we fix it? Yeah! Bob the Builder! Can we fix it? Bob the Builder! Yes, we can! Morning, team! Morning! Morning. What do you have there, Wendy? It's a safety harness, Roly. I'm going to use it when Scoop and Lofty help me replace some ridge tiles on Mrs. Broadbent's roof. Oh, yeah! Rock and roll! Muck and I have to go over to JJ's to pick up a special fireplace for Mrs. Percival. She wants to replace the one in her living room with an antique one. What's an anti a anti uh thing me jig Bob? <laughs> antique, Dizzy. An antique is something that's very old and valuable. We really should be going now, Bob. You're right, Wendy. Come on, everybody. Can we fix it? Yes, we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. It looked like a model airplane. She's a beauty, isn't she, Bob? She's an XV-77 single-engine remote-controlled stunt plane. Hey, watch this. <laughs> wow! That's fantastic, JJ! Thanks, Muck. I'm gonna take her out for a real test flight this morning. Now, where on earth is Trix with that fireplace? Here I am, JJ. You can give the fireplace to me now, Trix. Okie dokie, Muck. Would you maybe like to try out my plane later, Bob? Oh, that'd be great, JJ. I'll come over after I finished at Mrs. Percival's. Okay, Muck, we better get a move on. Bye, JJ. Bye, Trix. Hmm. Now, where has that plane gone? Whoa! Hello, Mrs. Percival. We have your antique fireplace. So I see, Bob. And it's magnificent. Now, let's take a look at your old fireplace. Oh, yes. I'll have this out in no time. Um, I've covered the carpet and furniture. You will be careful not to make too much mess, won't you, Bob? Fireplaces can be such... such dirty things. Of course, Mrs. Percival. Now stand back. Okay, little plane. Let's see what you can do. Hey, come back! The birds are eating the seed again, Spud. Go and scare them away, Spud. Well, that's easy for Farmer Pickles to say, but being a scarecrow is hard work. Ah. Oh, oh, -ho. what's that? Could it be? It looks like it is an airplane. Ew. I'm Spud the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was sure it came down around here somewhere. What's this? Aha! Now, what does it... Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey! Ho, ho! Spud the pilots at the controls, cruising at 20 zillion feet. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we will be experiencing turbulence. <laughs> oh, that was the idea. <laughs> World's first scarecrow pilot. <laughs> Got you now, Squawk. <laughs> oh. Oh. Watch out, Squawk. I'll get you this time. Oh. Hey, come back. <laughs> come back. There you are, Mrs. Percival. All ready to fit the new fireplace. And you've made hardly any mess. Well done, Bob. Stop! <sighs> Must be around here somewhere. Huh? Stop that plane! Hey, Spud! Stop! That's my aeroplane! Mamma mia! That was a fast! Oh, where did that come from? Oh my goodness, did you see that? Aha! Uh -huh. You know, that kind of looks like an XV-77 single-engine remote-controlled stunt aircraft. Uh, uh, oh, oh, has anybody seen uh, an airplane? It, it went, went that way. way! Thanks! Come back! This is your pilot speaking! Okay, Lofty, lower away. Hey, Wendy, look. What's that, Scoop? Oh, phew. That was close. Where on earth did that come from? <laughs> Out of my way! No! no! It's all right, Lofty. It was only Spud. Oh, 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 oh. It's all right. It's a only Spud. Only Spud. Where did the plane come from, Wendy? I don't know, Scoop. But I'll bet Spud has something to do with it. There you are, Mrs. Percival. Finished. Thank you so much, Bob. It's lovely and no mess. Now I can take the covers off my furniture. <laughs> oh, phew. I thought it was going to go on forever. <laughs> uh oh. No! <laughs> What's oh. going on? Oh, my goodness. What's going on? What's what going happened? On? I can't see a thing. This looks like JJ's airplane. Or what's left of it. Look what it's done to my living room. I'm going to have a word with JJ. Or whoever owns that airplane. Spud? Do you know anything about this, Spud? This? Me? Um, no. Uh, well... Not, e not exactly. Spud? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Percival. I'm sorry, Bob. I found it in this field, see? And I tried to scare a squawk, and then a log got in the way, and, and then it all went wrong. Oh, caught up with you at last. Whew. Hello, JJ. Is this your airplane? Oh, Bob. Thank goodness. Oh, but what's happened to the wings? Um... I think they're still up there, JJ. Oh, Spud! Just because you find something in a field, it doesn't mean that it's yours to play with. Look at the trouble you've caused. Yes, Mrs. Percival. Sorry, Mrs. Percival. I'll call Wendy and get her to bring over the long ladder. We'll rescue the wings, and then I can fix your plane. Really, Bob? Oh, that'd be great. And what about the mess in my living room? Hmm. I think I know someone who can help you with that, Mrs. Percival. Good idea, Bob. Someone should help her with that. Uh, oh. Yeah. Me, Bob. Okay, Bob. Spot's on the job, Bob. There you go, JJ. Good as new. Thanks, Bob. You'll have her flying again in no time. <laughs> yes. I wonder how our other pilot is doing. Meow. This is Duster One coming in to land. You'll have to do better than that, Spud. Oh. I bet real pilots don't have to dust. What's the job today, Wendy? Mr. Bentley wants us to replace some old water pipes outside the town hall, Dizzy. But can we go now? You'll have to wait for... Morning, everyone. I'm sorry I'm late. I just can't find my cell phone. 
and I need to order the new pie from JJ for today's job, and... Bob, huh? Your lunchbox is ringing. Oh. Here it is. Hello, Bob's Building Yard. Morning, Wendy. I was just wondering where Bob was. He's running a little late, but he's on his way now. Splendid. I'll be at the town hall, waiting for him. Oh, okay, Mr. Bentley. Well, I better get a move on. I'll call JJ and get the new pipe sent over. Thanks, Wendy. Come on, everyone. Let's get to work. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, Dad, just chill out while I do this. Chill out, Molly. I have work to do, and I haven't even had my breakfast yet. This will only take a minute, Dad. Relax. Now, let me see. Does that go there, or does this go round here? Can't you do this after work? My first aid test is tomorrow. I need all the practice I can get. Of course, Molly. I know first aid is important. It means you'll be able to help someone if they're sick or get hurt. Good. I'll just tie these. Oh, no. Just when I was getting the hang of it, too. Hey. Uh. JJ's building supplies. Oh, hello, Wendy. Yes. The new pipe. Oh, of course, Wendy. I'll take care of it right away. Sorry, Dad. I'll have to finish this off later. But... Bob needs that new pipe right away. But... I'll take this just in case. But how do I get out of this thing? Oh, shoo. Oh, at last. Sorry we're late, Mr. Bentley. Okay, team, let's get started. Very well, Bob. I'll be back later to see how you're doing here. Now, time to dig out the old pipe scoop. Hello, Mr. Sabatini. I have your vegetables. Mr. Sabatini? Oh, no. He must be out. I'll just sit down and have some rest until he gets here. I'm worn out. Hi, Spud. Are you all right? Oh, Molly. It's my legs. They're really wobbly, especially this one. Okay, Spud. I'll practice some first aid on you. But I'll have to be really quick. Now, sit still. This won't hurt. There. How's that, Spud? Oh, it's fantastic, Molly. Uh, what is it? It's called a splint. It's what you use when someone hurts their leg. That's me, all right. Good morning, everybody. Oh, my goodness. What's so wrong with Spud? I've hurt my leg, Mr. Sabatini. Oh, and I'm being very brave. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Sabatini. Spud's not really hurt. He's helping me practice for my first aid test. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. If there's anything I can do to help Molly, you just uh, let me know, huh? Hmm. Maybe you can help, Mr. Sabatini. Trix, can you make the deliveries to Bob on your own? Okie dokie, Molly. Can I go with Trix, Molly? Of course, Spud. Hey, Spud, what about my vegetables? Oh. Hey, Trix, wait for me. I've hurt my leg, remember? Now, we're going to have to turn the water off before we can put in the new pipe. I'd better tell everyone. Hi, Bob. You're just in time, Trix. Lofty, can you take the new pipe? Oh, uh, okay, Bob. Clear the way! Scarecrow with a splint coming through! Hi, Bob. I've been helping Molly practice first aid, and I got... Oh, very nice, Bud. But I have an important job to do. Why don't you tell the others all about it? Come on, Scoop. Let's get going. Morning, Mr. Sa... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, not you, too. I've just seen Spud all covered in bandages. What's going on? I have my first aid test tomorrow, and they've been helping me out. <laughs> Looks like you're doing a great job, Molly. She sure is a bub. Mr. Sabatini, I'm going to have to turn off the water for a while to fix the pipe in the street here. Mamma mia, bub. How can I make it a pizza with no water? Don't worry. I'll fill up some pans for you. I can see you're kind of tied up at the moment. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, yes, my leg really hurts. Oh, oh, oh! Look out, everyone! It's Wizzy Dizzy! Whee! Oh, watch out, Dizzy! Oh, I... I thought you said you couldn't move, Spud. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't move, uh, much. I'll mix up cement while you lift the pipe off tricks, Lofty. Uh, okay, Dizzy. I think. There you go, Lofty. Oh, okay. I got it, Trick. Hey, Lofty, I'll give you a hand. Just move it over here. Oh, oh. Oh, which way, Spud? Uh, uh, this way, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my. Oh, no. no I'm in. Back, back the other way. Oh. No, no, no. Uh oh. Oh, Spud. Bob's not gonna like this. Oh, no. I better go and get him. Very good, Molly. Are you all right in there, Mr. Sabatini? Oh, it's a very fine in here, Bob. Nice and cozy. <gasps> Bob! Bob! Bob, come quickly! What's wrong, Dizzy? It's a lofty and a lamppost. And, oh, just come and look. I'll have to go, Molly. Sounds like someone's in trouble. I'd better come with you, Bob. Hello? 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 I'm really sorry, Bob. You should really leave the building to builders. Sorry, Bob. That lamppost is going to have to be fixed. But how? I don't know, Bob. Hold on. I think you've given me the answer, Spud. Have I? I'm not too happy about the broken lamppost, Bob. But I must admit, <laughs> this is a rather nifty way of fixing it. That was all Molly's idea, Mr. Bentley. Very clever, Molly. We'll be back to put up a new one, first thing in the morning. Very well, Bob. I'd better be getting back home. I promise I'd get Dad a pizza for dinner. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Pizza! I forgot all about Mr. Sabatini! Keep still, Mr. Sabatini. But I have to make it the pizzas, Molly. You won't be making anything if I don't get you out of these bandages. There, finished. One lamppost replaced. Check. Hello, Molly. Molly, she has the good news, Bob. You mean... You passed your first A test? Yes, with flying colors. Congratulations, well done, Molly. Molly. Good for you, Molly. I couldn't have done it without all your help, especially Mr. Sabatini, <laughs> who had to spend all that time bandaged up. It's a nothing, Molly. Now you all come back into my restaurant. I'll make you the congratulation of pizzas on the house. And this time, Molly, no first aid, huh? <laughs> One box of household refuse. Hi, Bob. Hello, Trix. You're just in time. Thanks for offering to take this junk down to the recycling center for me. That's okay. Skippy's taking some stuff down there for JJ. Yeah, so we're both going together. Bye, Bob. Bye. Oh, oh look, a creepy crawly. It's only a tiny insect. It's not going to hurt anybody. Morning, everyone. I bring exciting news. The mayor has decided the town needs a movie house. Oh, a that's movie house? Brilliant. Uh, what's a movie house? It's a place where lots of people go to see movies. But won't it take about a million bricks to build one? Not this one, Dizzy. It's an outdoor movie house. Here is the, uh, plan. Oh, yes! And you see, there's a great big space for people to drive in and watch a movie under the stars. Is it all outdoors? If it is, that means we'd be able to go, too. It is. And yes, you can, Scoop. Fantastic! I've never been in a movie house. I will, of course, be sending an expert along to install the screen and the projector. A Mr. Costello from Costello Movie House Installation. 
Is he bringing the movie, too? Ah, yes. The movie house will open with the invasion of the giant bug. It's all about a monster insect that comes creeping into town and tries to take over. Oh. Oh, my gosh. And some special display materials are on their way, Bob. Oh, really? Like what, exactly? Ha, ha, ha. Wait and see, Bob. Can we watch it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Shoo! Go away! This is a farm, not a snack bar. Hey, Spud! Oh, hi, Trix. Hi, Skip. I'm scaring the birds off the fields. Uh, go on, Scrab! Oh, dear. I think Spud needs some help. This is the movie house site, everybody. It's going to be a big job, one of our biggest ever. Now, we need to build a projection booth here and put up a screen over there. So, let's get to work, team. Yikes! For a second there, I thought you were real. You're not, are you? Oh! Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, JJ. You've seen a what? Don't move, JJ. Don't move. I'll be right over. What's the matter, Bob? JJ needs help. There's a big buggy monster thing in his yard. <laughs> that must be the special display materials for the invasion of the bug. Oh, yes. Of course. Silly me. I think you better call JJ and explain. I said I'd beat you back, Skip. Oh, I've left him miles behind. He... Ah! Pretend. Hey, I have an idea. Come with me, scary buggy monster. Go away! Haven't you had enough to eat yet, Squawk? This will help Spud scare those crows away. Ah! Hey, Spud! Look what I've got! <laughs> All ready for the projector. Hi, Bob. Hi, Wendy. I am Mr. Costello. If you're setting up a movie house, I am your man. Uh, this is the film projector. Take it away, Lofty. Easy does it now. That's very sensitive equipment. Now, the projector shines the film through that window across this area and up onto the screen. That's really clever. Hey, where is the screen? Don't worry. We're going to put it up later. Yes, and that's going to be a big job. It certainly is. There's still a lot to do before the big opening tonight. And I mustn't forget to pick up that giant bug. Now, let's all choose a nice peaceful riverbank scene to paint. Now, it's time to get that screen up. Great work, team. Now, it's about time I picked up the giant bug. Come on, Lofty. Hi, JJ. I'm here to pick up the giant bug. I can't wait to see it. But, Bob, I thought you'd taken it ages ago. Giant bug! Ah! Ah, it's gonna Bud, get me! I better find out what's going on. Let's go, Lofty! Leave me alone! Oh, 
I can't get in. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh help. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Bob, save me. Save me from the giant bug. <laughs> it's not real, Spud. It's a model. Uh, 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 a model? Sorry I scared you, Spud. I thought this would help you scare crows. Scare crows? Phew. Well, it scared me all right. <laughs> oh, poor old Spud. But, Trix, you really shouldn't have taken the bug without asking. I'm sorry, Bob. <laughs> That's okay, Trix. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hi, Wendy. The drive-in's ready? Great! Okay, Trix, follow me. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, greetings and salutations to you all. If you'd like to take your seats, prepare yourselves for an audiovisual extravaganza representing the very cutting edge of Alfresco Movie House technology. <laughs> Roll them! No, no, don't panic. It's all special effects. <laughs> Everyone can see it's not real. Even I knew that. Oh, yeah, I knew it wasn't real, because cause Bob told me. Move over, little scoop. Anyone got any popcorn? Shh. Whoops.